Hello folks. You know when I started this video originally it was to demonstrate how to swap the 3D switch on the Devo 7 transmitter so those comfortable with the switch on the top left side uh, would be able to do it and I show the easy way to do that. So the plan was the same as my last video. I'm going to put up the DJI Phantom and video the results of me flying the V400D helicopter with the new switch setup my VL969 Bubble Trouble, my Spacewalker Octocopter, and my Aerosky 550 Hexacopter. Right, well, since the footage of the collision is pretty interesting, I'm going to present how to do the switch arrangement in another video. But first, here are just some short clips of my flying all those machines, followed by the spectacular finale, the crash. Well, I'll show the results at the end and see if it's still airworthy. I've put the crash in slow motion and from different cameras. You know, I fly with a lot of people around, a lot of different planes in the air at the same time. <laughs> so, for me to run into myself, pretty wild. Take the V400 up. Here we go. Try out my switch. Oh no! Oh no! Not gonna believe that. I can't believe that. There's a first. Oh, man. I thought it was a little high. <laughs> That's part of the fun, huh, folks? Taking videos with a Skyhook quadcopter like the DJI Phantom. While I fly other RC equipment, including having 12 motors in the air at once with the Spacewalker Octoquad, was a first for me. And crashing into myself with the second machine I'm flying, that was also a first. Well, in conclusion, the depth perception's what got me with the two different sized machines. 
You know, I slightly nicked the propeller on the DJI landing skid and it knocked the prop loose and it flew off of the Aerosky 550. You can visibly see the prop falling away in the picture and of course the Aerosky 550 was totally undamaged at that point. But as you saw, it was just a super glue for plastics fix and six new props. There wasn't a mark on the DJI. In fact, it barely moved when the quad ran into it. And as you see, the Aerosky 550 six-pack is up and flying again. I'm glad I had minimal damage and was able to get this unusual footage. Thanks for watching, folks. And please stay tuned. You never know what's coming next.